Christianity is a religion of peace. Um, a lot of people from the northern part of the country are calling for um, rejection of a Christian meeting in Nigeria and to reject Ubi. And I was just like, what is the meaning of this? Uh, this uh, resulted to the call to arrest Gumi. You know that a uh, Gumi's uh, aid has been arrested, the person of a uh, Tuko Mamu, who has been bandit negotiator. He has been negotiating with bandits and getting some ransom, paying them, and what have you. Uh, the latest one was that he was arrested in Egypt. And the question a lot of people are asking is that after he was being repatriated, he was being repatriated to Nigeria, and DSS took it upon themselves and arrested him. And they've been interrogating him. And people are surprised that why is it that this man was not uh, arrested? Nothing was said about him while he was in Nigeria. And we learned that uh, he was going to Dubai for less Hajj. But after DSS investigation, we they discovered that uh, he was not just going for any Hajj. He was going to meet a top uh, terrorist leaders in the world. I was saying, wow. Nobody ever said anything. The only thing we're hearing from government before he was repatriated from Egypt was that, uh, oh, there was an ongoing negotiation uh, with the bandits that they are trying to rescue uh, the victims of a Kaduna train uh, attack. That was what we were hearing. The issue of calling Gumi to be arrested is being on ground for a very long time, close to two years, because the man has been spewing a lot of unbelievable things. But DSS never said anything, not until recently. I think it was after bandits were prescribed as a, as God prescribed them as terrorist group. That was when Gumi just said, oh, he would not be saying anything concerning bandits again, because he told the government to do this for them, to do this for them, so that uh, this issue of banditry and kidnapping will stop. But since government didn't do anything, the next thing they did was just to prescribe them. And he just hands off. All of a sudden, again, I think he did that for like two or three months. All of a sudden, again, he came back again, started talking for them. I don't know whether the prescription is right or not, because he said because they were prescribed, he didn't want to have anything to do with them, so that they would not go, and, they would not go after him. But after like three months, he started speaking on their behalf and that was when this mamu came on board because then we were not hearing about it this mamu took up down maybe it was a disguise so that's to remove all eyes from a uh, gumi maybe that was a uh, to me that was it because as at when gumi was really on this uh, mission maybe the man was with him but we were not hearing the man you know that he was a bandit negotiator not until recently and this man has been doing this for close to three or four months to this issue of a uh, kidnapped victims of a Kaduna train attack. He's been doing it, going back and forth. And we thought that uh, the man was working with government because a lot of people who were released as at that time said government did not pay anything. Their family members paid some month, amounts of money. But DSS didn't say anything. Not until some people were like, oh, it could be DSS that gave information to the Egyptian government and say how can that be so they couldn't arrest him here so all they say back and forth and what have you so since the man is an aide to gumi and people are calling for his arrest and now they said if the northern group now coming out if they arrest a gumi in this country there's going to be fire and the next thing they they shifted it to ubi and uh, christianity in this country and you begin to wonder that whether these people are even pained and as far as Nigerians are concerned, especially people from the southern part of the country, as far as they are concerned, the majority, I don't know, they, they are not bothered about the insecurity really happening in that, uh, in that region. And don't forget, this kind of statement has been made by Buhari before he came on board. When Jonathan was in power, he said any attack on Boko Haram is attack on the north. So when you hear this kind of a statement, are you going to be taking it for granted? And when Buari was coming on board, he told Nigerians that he was going to fight Boko Haram. But a lot of people forgot that somebody who said any attack on Boko Haram is attack on the north. I don't know the interpretation of that. But as we speak now, you can see that what has been happening under this government is repentance Boko Haram. That is just what we have been hearing. Before you could say Jack Robinson, 
they have repented we don't know the manner at which they come out to repent you don't see anything even if they said they have repented somebody who is repenting are you are they not going to or the people who say they have repented are they not going to be submitting harms no you won't see that you just hear them yeah the government says uh, thousands hundreds of people have sur uh, surrendered with their wives with their children and that is it and go and check how much government is spending on those people there was at a time that uh, there was an argument whether they need to be reintegrated into the society they argue that but that thing is not even holding water because those people are still back into the society that is what we've been hearing so if somebody said any attack on Boko Haram is attack on the north and you expect said that person to fight a Boko Haram and they are making noise or making mouth that say Boko Haram is not holding any local government's a uh, uh, ransom now to, to ransom that's no local government is under the control of Boko Haram they are deceiving themselves the same way they told us that a uh, Boko Haram has been decimated so now they call for Gumi say Ares is now what is bringing this whole thing. When people talk about say Islamization and Fulanization, they will tell you, oh, you don't know what you are saying. Stop this uh, ethnic profiling. But that is exactly what it is. That is exactly what it is. Now people are calling Gumi, calling Gumi's Ares, and some people are saying that uh, it is high time that say All Northerners reject a uh, Ubi and Christianity in Nigeria. All Northerners, forgetting that you have a Christian in the North. Christian is a religion, or Christianity is a religion of peace and not religion of a bandit. What concerns Ubi with uh, this matter? You are calling for the arrest of a Gumi and you are talking about Ubi. That's to tell you how, how um, mean these people can be. How mean they can be. Yes, that's it. How many they can be? So people will tell you, oh, this are this are this the kind of people we are sharing a country with? Are this the kind of people we are sharing con the country with? Yes. Yeah, you can describe civilization, but I doubt if you know what it means. Shame on you if religion will be your yastic to pick a, the president when you say Ubi should be rejected and not that should reject say christianity people like you are making the country are killing the country please go to niger republic or chad nigeria does not even need people like you who are you to declare anything a man of no values and worthless it is always sudden to hear northerners comments on national issues all the time their comment is always laced with religious and sectional sentiments this is a man who claims to be clearly seemingly implicated in banditry and yet some people are ready to set the country ablaze in the law if the law takes its course because he's being called for arrest and you are saying northerners should ban should reject christianity and uh, um obi let us not forget northerners are the most affected by the banditry yet they are same people shielding the perpetrators of this uh, dastardly as will northern nigeria ever wake up from its slumber will northerners someday come to the realization that southerners or christianity is not their enemy the real enemies is themselves the real enemy is themselves can you imagine kai can you imagine this your religious leaders has never preach for peace in this country a leader that supports banditry and you are bringing obi into this obi and gumi are two different uh, people and that is it obedience will remain christian muslim ticket walkable yeah and these are the people you can imagine that they are they are terrorists yes you can imagine calling the rejection of obi in in because a uh, <clears throat> uh, Gumi is being asked to be questioned. What has the call for the arrest of Gumi got to do with Obi? Will Obi die if he is not elected president of Nigeria? No, 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 no. He won't. Make a that nothing. Make sure that nothing 
kill you how many of you bandits and kidnappers are in that uh north you can't even add up the very good people of northern nigeria with few or few criminal elements to reject a god sense please go and rest don't deceive yourself the reasonable ones in your midst will not think upside down like you what we need is good governments if not let everyone go they are separate with they will tell you no we have to stay together so guys let's hear your opinion and have your take on this